Hey everyone, Ryan here with AeroLeds. It's Spirit of Aviation Week. I'm at headquarters in Boise. Chad, you're somewhere in central Illinois. What's going on? <laughs> Listen, one thing's for sure, we'd rather be a little bit north of here up in Wisconsin. It's been beautiful weather this week and a lot of us that have spent a lifetime in aviation really are a little heartbroken because we're not at Oshkosh this week, Ryan. Well, I think that you, me, and 600,000 other people <laughs> certainly would rather have been up in Oshkosh this year uh, enjoying another wonderful air adventure. But we really look forward to next year, to 2021. And I'm sure that you're probably already pre-ordering your tickets. We're already making our preparations and we'll see everybody up there uh, July of 2021 next year. Chad, what got you into aviation? I'll tell you what, that's a loaded question if there ever was one. When I grew up as a young man on a farm in central Illinois, my uncle uh, moved to California and he got involved in aviation and he would always fly back in whatever airplanes he was involved with at the time. He had a 206, had some Skymasters, all kinds of fun stuff. What kind of aircraft do you have? My current aircraft is a, believe it or not, a 1963-205, which is kind of a rare bird. I, when I got this airplane, a good friend of mine owned it for about 15 years, so it had a really good heritage as far as staying as current as possible. Um, when I got the aircraft, I needed a propeller. The other one was tired, so I threw some technology at that and got a really cool carbon fiber MT prop. The panel was really solid. Um, it was about 15 years old, had a Garmin 430 in it full IFR, I mean, it was a nice panel, but again, that's getting a little stale. So it took a couple years, but upgraded to a new GTN, got a 750XI in it now, of course, ADS-B, dual G5s, recut the panel on the, on the pilot side, new glare shield, some new plastic windows, I mean, some stuff, and did some other things in the interior as well that look amazing. But to be quite honest with you, I don't think I'm special in the fact as kind of upgrading the lights and strobes kind of came secondary only because I needed to get the mechanical things done first. But it kind of started with uh, a conversation, if you would, when I bought the airplane, when they were doing the pre-buy, they say, Chad, don't you want some LED taxi and landing lights? And I'm like, yeah, absolutely. I didn't ask what brand, I didn't ask anything, just put some in the plane. And they were, Ryan, they were probably 550 bucks, maybe $600. I just put them in. Certainly way better than old school incandescent bulbs. But I'm a technology guy, so I'm always looking in the industry, and you guys have some killer claims, if you would, on some really bright taxi and landing lights. And they're expensive. I mean, it's not a secret. They're $600 each. And the last year and a half, I just been that quiet guy looking, saw them at Oshkosh last year, did not pull the trigger. I think I actually bought some shoulder harnesses instead because a little higher on the priority list. But listen, recently I went to your website, did my homework, talked to one of your distributors and bought the taxi and landing light. Yes, the $600 super lights. And when I talked to your distributor, he's like, look, if you don't like them, we'll take them back. And it was a couple phone calls and I actually called them back. They, they had shipped, I bought them and I said, look, has anybody ever returned them? And he's like, you'd be the first Chad. So I was pretty excited. So once I got them, I quick threw them in the airplane in the hangar and just kind of comparing the old lights to the new ones, Ryan, just inside and went, oh my gosh, this is craziness. So believe it or not, I put the old ones back in and waited for great weather, a good dark night, waited till 9, 30, 10 o'clock. And I'm like, I'm going to make a killer video. So when someone else is considering whether you would make that investment, here's some good research for you. So I did that, went out, did a couple landings to take off at night, mounted GoPros, did all the stuff with my normal LEDs, came back to the hangar, remounted the new lights, did everything again, went out, and I knew taxiing out that they were brighter. That's not a secret. But the part that really grabbed me was when I was maybe 100 feet, 150 feet, you can see it on the video here. We're gonna, we'll put the footage in this, in this uh, little virtual conversation here. You can see very vividly the runway coming into view without the aid of the runway lights. It was from the light of my aircraft and Ryan, I was tickled to death. And, and since then I've done some other upgrades as far as lighting goes on the plane, but man, thank you guys for a killer product. Those things are amazing.
In Chad's leading edge of his left wing, he has the AeroLeds Sunspot 36 4000 series landing and taxi lights. The AeroLeds Sunspot 36 series are a drop-in replacement to any PAR 36 lamp. Installation's a breeze, no modifications needed, and they're fully STC certified for any Cessna model that you could think of. Also, Chad has installed on his vertical stabilizer is the AeroLeds Sunbeacon 2. That is a red anti-collision strobe that offers 360 de degree coverage uh, for in-air recognition. That has been installed on his vertical stabilizer with the AeroLeds three and three quarter cut mount. Now the cut mount that he has is not necessary for all installations, just those with the coffee cup sized uh, beacons uh, that are on typical legacy aircraft. Now on Chad's tail of his 205, you'll see that he has the AeroLeds Sun Tail. This is a white position light along with an anti-collision strobe. It can be synced with the Pulsar NSPs out on the wingtip. Now the beautiful thing about the AeroLeds uh, line of lighting uh, that you see on Chad's aircraft here and that you've seen in his Pyreps is these lights can be installed on any Cessna really if you have a 172, 182, 208, 206, 207, whatever Cessna you have, you can probably install these AeroLeds on yours. So be sure to check out Chad's videos. We really appreciate his enthusiasm for aviation technology. We've seen what he does in the agricultural technology field. Uh, have a look at uh, Chad's uh, work. Now, Chad, let us know where we can find you on social media so we can all benefit from the videos you do on technology. Well, I appreciate that, first of all. That's one of the biggest challenges I had with, quite honestly, Ryan, your products and others when it was time to make that purchase decision. Where's the research? Where can you go talk to some pilots that have put this on their plane and get some good feedback? And I appreciate you allowing me to share this. If you go to my website, it's Colby, spelled with a C, agtech.com, and there's an aviation tab, and under that, there's a 205, and there's actually a Pyreps page where I share Pyreps on other products on the plane as well. I'm just happy to share. You can find me on Twitter and LinkedIn, all those fun places, Facebook. If you just search my name, it'll come right up. And hey, listen, if you got questions about any kind of airplane or any of the accessories on my airplane, happy to share what I've learned in the process. And Ryan, certainly appreciate your openness to uh, all the questions. I know your phone's been burning up all week. You and I've talked many times preparing for this, and I know you'd rather be at Oshkosh answering those questions, but we appreciate you taking the time to, to help aviators. This next step in technology, it takes a little time to uh, get the comfort level to buy a lot of these products and put them on your plane. Well, Chad, thank you so much for your time today. Would much rather have been in person with you. Uh, visiting up at Oshkosh, visiting with all of our other, uh, our other clients and customers and people that have adopted and, and become part of the AeroLeds family. We can't be there this year, but next year we'll be back and better than ever, and we look forward to that.